So I like Lego, and I like space shuttles, and I like trucks. And um, even better are space shuttles that uh, open up to have satellites inside them. So obviously I had to buy this Lego set. And yeah, that's about all I have to say besides opening it up and building it. If I can manage, I should have brought scissors. I mean, I don't really care about keeping the box intact, so that's fine. Oh yeah, and this camera only has recording time for uh, 30 minutes, so I need to do this as quick as possible. Lego apps? Oh, you can you can get the instructions like online now, I guess. Cool.
and suddenly I want to play American Truck Simulator. Did you know the world's largest manufacturer of tires is Lego? Yeah, these little rubber tires for their wheels. More of these tires are produced than any other tire in the world. Of course, these ones aren't going on real roads, typically. All right, and there you have it. Truck, trailer, I love the way the uh, trailer holds the shuttle on. Uh, I have another set that is a truck and trailer and planes, and unfortunately the way that one's designed, the trailer doesn't really hold the planes on very well. In fact, uh, the propeller plane, there's no way to put it on without either the propellers catching on the wheels. Like, you can actually put it on this way, but if you do that and you actually get it to hook on, something like that, like, see, it, it's, it's actually held on now, but now the propeller is jamming one of the wheels. So you can't really, you know, have it on there that way. Of course, these come apart into pieces, so you could you know, do it that way, like store the different pieces, but that kind of defeats the whole point of the plane wings folding up, I suppose. I do like the design of the trailer. I think it's a pretty neat little thing, but that's just, it doesn't work with this plane that it came with, and that really bothers me. I do like, um, also, the way that the trailer goes on. It doesn't actually stay on, whereas this one, I noticed, the way it does this, there's actually, you actually got to pull it a little bit to get it apart. I do very much like the design of this trailer as well, though. I think I like the design of this trailer slightly more than that other one. And actually, I think I wouldn't actually put it on that first rung. I think I would actually put it on the second one, because there's still enough clearance. Yeah, there's still plenty of clearance. And it just makes for a slightly shorter trailer. I kind of like that. I do find it interesting that the heavier tires go on the truck and the lighter tires go on the trailer, considering the trailer is holding the majority of the weight. I mean, yeah, the truck holds quite a bit too, but I don't know, it just feels backwards to me, especially for a whole frickin' space shuttle. I do absolutely love the fact that this comes with a shuttle bay, and the shuttle bay actually has a robotic arm and a satellite to deploy. Pretty neat little combination of things. There we go. Now we can say we're in space and we're working on this satellite or getting ready to deploy it. I very much love how they did the OMS pods too. OMS? Yeah, Orbital Maneuvering System. <laughs> I thought I got that wrong for a moment and then this would be part of the OMS as well up front. But yeah, it's a really neat set. It was so hard to find this little wheel, though. 